All right, valley sleeper boards. Really common to have overbuild like this at the end of a truss. And rather than try to level and locate your ridge and all that, I find it easier to just use the math to cut your sleepers in. And here's how you do that. So you take a two by, and I just line it up until it planes. That gives me one point. Do the same thing on the other side. Measure that, and that is your span. Divide that in half, and that is your run. So for me, it was 32. The overall was 64 and three quarters. From that point to that point, divide that in half. 32 and three eighths. So now, just take your handy dandy calculator. This is a four pitch, so four inch pitch. 32, three eighths run, and then hit the hip valley button. 47 and one sixteenth. So that is the length of my valley sleeper. Now, they always have these funky pitches, or funky miters where they meet. So now, you take that 47 and 1 16th. And that becomes the diagonal. And your run is your 32 and 3 8 And then you hit the pitch button. And that tells you 12 and 11 sixteenths. So what that means that when you take your frame and square, you put one end at 12, the other end at 12 and 11 sixteenths. This will be your top cut. This will be your bottom cut. So top cut or top miter up there, bottom miter there. And if you want to get really fancy, put it on a bevel. Your bevel is just going to be whatever the pitch of your roof is. So this is a four pitch. So that bevel is whatever 19 degree bevel. And then all you have to do is just put that on to that point, put that on point, connect it. It's going to be perfectly square to your last truss. It's going to be level. Your ridge is going to be whatever your run is minus half the thickness of your ridge. So for me, that was 31 and 5 eighths. So that's just one way to do this kind of like a hybrid version of math and field measuring but helps to locate everything I know that my valleys are going to make sure it's centered I know that my ridge is going to be level and frame on